Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That channel is Deb Schnell's 48th World. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. You're kicking back and you're looking at my videos. Okay, that's what it's all about. We almost got Friday. Hook, line, and sinker. Alright, but check this out y'all. As you can see, that's Simon Gabardius, uh page. This is supposed to be his wife or ex-wife and his daughter back in the day. Now, what's wrong with this picture? It seems like baby girl is kind of homeless. But when we get down to Portia's daughter, she's immaculate. And you see that little bald spot I was telling y'all about in the, in the front part of her forehead around here? I don't know. I don't know, Portia. You need to stop doing what you're doing, girl. For the whole head be gone, okay? The whole the hair be gone. Because you done stretched it out using them braids and that fake gel and all that stuff. But, you know, that's your child. I'm just on the outside looking in. Okay, but what I'm saying, I don't like. I don't like. Now, she is better in this photo. So, I'm like, uh, did Portia give you some tutors, some uh, some points on how baby girls should be looking? Because just as this baby girl is fly all the time. You see her. But this baby girl, you, you seem like you just make her look like she po or something. And I, I didn't like the optics. I don't like the optics. I don't like the optics in Portia. You should know better. If you are in the midst of baby girl and you see she's not dressed appropriate or she feels like she's like destitute, if you're going to be his wife, you need to step up. Just just, uh, just as PJ is going out there looking all fi fly and fine, I need his youngest daughter, his biological daughter, be looking the same. She need to be in name brand shit as well because right now, it's like she's a popper. It's like she um got lost in the foster system or something. I mean, pretty little girl, but look how she dressed. Damn, look how the mama dressed. Like, Simon, what were you going around picking these women? And you said you're, you're a billionaire, you're a millionaire, but you can't dress neither one of them better than what I'm seeing here. And especially baby girl. I ain't never seen baby girl look like this before. I'm glad it was in the olden days because she looked a, little, a lot better. She could still look a little bit more better than what she's looking today. Because if she could stay immaculate with Tiffany charms and all that, Tiffany necklace uh, on little girl PJ, very expensive. Okay, especially for her age group anyway. Huh. But she loves it because I always see it around her little neck. Maybe that's her good luck charm. Okay. But PJ always being the latest. See, that's Dutcher Gambana dress. Oh, I can't imagine how much it costs. I ain't even gonna look it up. Okay, just the name itself telling me it's uh, it costs some money. But Simon, you talking about you put your stamp on that baby girl? Did you put something in her bank account? Did you help? Are you helping her mother make her look a little bit better than what she's doing? Cause it ain't all about educating them. They still gotta have food. They gotta have shelter, and they damn sure gotta have some clothes on their ass. Then you can go around here and floss all that shit, but you can't put it on your child. Because I've seen your children. They they look kind of questionable. Like we ain't sending no money home. We ain't putting no money in their accounts. So they can look spiffy, dandy, and fine. Because that's what you like to run around here. Wearing them expensive watches. Okay. Just got you in some good Scooby-Doo's. Those are shoes. For those who didn't know. Go look at um my video I did on Portia and Shamir, she hanging out with her on her birthday. He had on some nice black shoes without the buckle. Praise the Lord. But back on this baby girl. Baby girl, just she she deserves just as much as PJ gets. And if you're spending anything on PJ, you need to be spending the same amount of money and the same amount of time with this little girl. Because what can happen, she could feel kind of salty. She could feel kind of jealous on why pj gets to go these lovely places and i'm older than her 
Why does she get to go? Why is she dressed like she's dressed? Why can't I have that? Simon, you need to get your ass together. You need to get your shit together. One should not go without the other going too. That would have been a perfect trip. Since she had to take somebody. Because technically, you should have went by yourself. You and Portia. But since y'all wanted to bring the entourage. Acting like y'all one big happy family. Uh, and the rest of the family members are not in tow with you all. That's a problem. That's a problem right there. Because PJ shouldn't have been able to go if the other girl couldn't have went. Because PJ Show was playing by herself. Or with, probably with some other adults. That wasn't a trip for no little girl like PJ. Just like y'all missed the whole thing with the tea party shit. And could have took her to Orlando or, or California. And had a good time at Walt Disney World. Or Disneyland. Whichever y'all tried to go. Whichever state. But you didn't do that. You just get, gave her this over extravagant tea party. With real plates. Like you know, what if they stab themselves in the eye. Or they just put the mouth. Put the fork in the mouth too fast. Then you know you got blood bleeding everywhere. Okay. Wasn't really appropriate. But was it fly? Yes it was. Okay. I gave you your kudos points on that one. But I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with baby girl right here. She looked like she's homeless. She, she looked like she's coming from an adoption agency. Ah, oh, it's just piss poor. And then you go around here wearing all these expensive clothes. Just paying uh, money for them expensive cigars. Drinking expensive liquor. And got your baby girl looking like this. Look like a tramp. Look like a tramp, my mom used to say. That made no sense. And what, what nationality is this person? What nationality is she? Is she Nigerian? Because it don't seem like she in the African race. But you're supposed to love your African people. <sighs> why, why, why must we go on? Why must, why you have to keep teaching you, telling you, hoping you get a clue? Buy one. Hey, you, you're a millionaire, millionaire, billionaire. You should know this shit. But I just don't understand. I can't stand one child getting all and the other child just, you know, crying. What we call it? Broke mouth, how my mom used to say. Then you're going to talk about, I, I put my stamp on all my kids. Well, did you pay their college tuition? Okay. Cause it's coming up, they three bright young people, so you gotta make you gotta make sure you show up with that college education fund while you run around here and, and doing all these things with Portia. What are you doing with your own kids? You always so much you a good father, this, that, and the third. I ain't seen, I ain't seen it, I ain't seen it. Cause the little pictures that you give us, it don't show very much. Just like they all graduated. Where was the party? Where was the fanfare? Well, what's all of that? Because if it was PJ graduating from high school, hell, she would have had like a coming out party and everything. Like a debutante ball. Plus, she would have went out and hold no stops. She would have been pulling no stops. Okay? Ah, but here we go. Here we go. I don't know what this lady's name, but she was told to me that uh, from one of my YouTube family members that um, this is Simon's wife. Ex-wife. Okay? So, we see he like them. Um, yeah, you like getting swirl on. I don't even know what. I don't think she's even white. She's something else. What is her nationality? Family, help me out. Okay. But look at baby girl. Can you understand? I'm like, what is this? It damn sure ain't name brand. It's not name brand. And the hell ain't really kept the way it needs to be kept. Like, <sighs> Simon, Simon, Simon. Oh, that's all I got for this video, guys. I I'm just too fit to be tied with Simon ass. I tell you. Going around here and spending all the necessary money. And he got a kid looking like that. That's, that's, and then he got PJ looking like that. <sighs> Ooh, as the world turns, I tell you. As the world turns in Portia and Simon's life. Okay, always looking at him. Looking at face tunes. I mean, just love the man for who he is, Portia. Let us see the real man. Because that ain't the real man. That ain't the real man. We don't see real pictures of him when he was with Fallon. And that person is a lot older looking than what you got us uh, looking at with Simon. Okay? And, and stop playing with the photo tunes on PJ as well. I've seen them. Don't like it. She's pretty, uh, she's pretty enough. Okay? <sighs> okay. I'll see y'all on the next video. Goodbye.